This is KB and welcome to the Afterlife Season 3 server, but today I want to type some loose ends. I'm thinking about building an ink farm, and when all is said and done, we can get back to this place so I can explain to you what's going on. It's also time to do our first ever on-camera flight. I have already flown with my Elytra. That is Unbreaking 3. I hope Jay's mending shop is ready, or book shop, or what's he calling it? But then we can get some mending. So let's see if I can take off, because I've been struggling to take off on the server. And as you can see, let's try this again. Attempt number two. There we go. So the first loose end is here at the sugarcane farm. I finally am getting to finishing up this door. Inside I'm not going to do too much now. And then I want that back. On the outside I'm also not going to do too much. Because once we figure out the path design and the design for the industrial area. Then I'll start finalizing these builds with decor and things like that. But what I do want to do now is just add something. You know, just a little bit of trim. Ghost block? Ghost block much? There you are. Ghost block. Uh, I don't know how this is gonna look. I just thought about this right now. I just grabbed a bunch of stuff and brought it with me just to do something. Now I need to do these walls as well. They'll need to be cobblestone like the inside. I do have some. We can cobblestone this a little bit. That should make it, it look a little more finalized. That's just what I want to do now. Just... Get some of my things to feel more finalized. So we... Ah, that needs to go in by one if it's gonna work. That should... Yeah, that's fine. That's fine for now. As I say, I can't really finalize this until we have a finished industrial design. Industrial area design. But I just want to make this look cleaner. That already looks way cleaner. And that is it for the sugarcane farm. Um, the nice thing is, you is AFKing at his wool thingy, which means these machines are running. That is pretty nice. That's the benefit of this industrial area. As you can see, <laughs> it's, it's running. So the next thing I want to finish off is my office slash starter house here at Spawn. And... I'm happy with storage here at the bottom, with my little micro wheat farm or micro farm. I'm, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with the office itself on the inside. Let me get some sleep. The one thing I do need to change and to finish up is the outside. Because these dudes, they build crazy good looking things. And my house on the outside is just a block of something with no decor around it really which I can show you in a second I need to grab some sleep let's run outside, Oh, and I'm gonna use that at some point but yes, outside it's not ugly but it's not the best and as you can see, it's very basic so we need to do stuff here here's what I have so far I've extended this path going this side cause down there used to be my mine I don't know if it's still going to be with the community mine. I'll see what happens there. But I want to use this little space to have a, a little sitting garden area thingy. Where you can just hang out with some friends and have a chat. And when it's all said and done, it should look something like this. I think I might have too many rose bushes. I don't know. <laughs> this is what I got. This little sitting area, just a little... Little garden thingy, some more decor. I can actually add some grass. I'll, I'll do that once this is grown. I just landscaped a little bit just to break things up. But I think that's it. That's it. After the grass is in, I'm going to be done with this office. Which means we can move on to the next thing. So our last loose end was just to check profits in the shops. And I made some sales. But overall, we've made 70 diamonds. And these are the amounts from the different shops. Now a quick thing I want to just show you, just a quick glimpse. 
is Skunk is working on the town hall in a stream. No oh boy. <laughs> that is looking great. I was messing around with him as well in his stream. Um, and while I mention this, you can check the description below for all the links of the different dudes playing on the Afterlife server. As you can see, this place is filled with very interesting builds. Go check them out. And if there's anyone that's watching this video that feel like you are good enough to join us, there's an application event running where you can apply to become part of the Afterlife server. Now with all of the loose ends out of the way, it's time to get to the ink farm. And as you can see, I'm in the industrial area because I want to build the ink farm right here at the edge there, which is a river biome. Now, I think what I'm going to start with is by building the actual farm itself and see how it runs. And then if we need more ink than that, I'll start filling up the rivers for, I think it's 128 blocks is the radius or the range you need to go. Not sure about that. But yes, we build the ink farm first and then we remove rivers if we need to. I had a little bit of luck down here. I was digging out the space, and then I found a cave that, ooh, a, a cave down here. So that's gonna help me a little bit with blocks, but I need to come down to this block because it sounds like it's level 43 that these squids can spawn up to. So maybe we'll go down, down more for the collection system of it. But yes, I'm, I'm still working on clearing out space here. and. The first ink from the ink farms. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna clear out. Can I speak? I'm going to clear out all of this. And then we can start with... Uh, do we do the killing chamber first? Maybe not. This ink farm is definitely taking way longer than I thought it would, but it's coming along. But I thought I'd bring you in after that time lapse just to show you how to build this. So you want a space where you can have a killing system. So on level 40, I did that. And then I have three spaces where I built my first signs. Now you can actually drop that down by one level. 
because ink uh, because squid can spawn from level 43 up to I think 65 I might be wrong about that number now I'm gonna swim up to the surface you can get a glimpse of how this looks and you can see I still need to do a lot which I'm gonna do off camera because I want to move away from this project after I've shown you how to do it but when you're building this what you want is you place let's find a flat spot over here you place um, signs that will block the water from from flowing through on top of those signs then you will have a zigzag pattern like that a checkerboard pattern which then can repeat like that no not like that sorry this one shouldn't be here i don't have anything to remove it and it's becoming nighttime don't panic kb don't panic then right on top of these dudes you will add another batch of fence gates like that and i'm gonna do this at night time even if a uh, hostile creatures show up then right against the top fence you can place a a water bucket a water block on this one as well i don't have water and then once you're done right on top of that you will add another line of signs that word left me so just another quick explanation underneath this will be about a bunch of signs then you'll have the fence gates with the water block against the top fence gate so two rows of that and then on top of it you'll have another row of signs and let's jump downstairs so i can just give you a visual of that and i hope i'm explaining this nicely so we have signs fence gate fence gate signs and then the water block will go in between all of these fence gates and with a checkered pattern you then scatter it all over and those blocks of water you've placed is where the squid will spawn. Now, this is not one of my designs. I will have a link in the description below that will show you this design and explain it way better. I just want to give you a slight run-through of this ink farm. So, between episodes and probably over time, I'm going to build up this ink farm, all of the, the signs and the fence gates, and then I'm going to start filling in the river itself but that will look ugly so i might need to create custom rivers to make up for the rivers i'm removing we'll see about that and uh, next episode we will work on the killing part of this ink farm but for now i want to move on because we have to cover some updates now i spent some time on uh, on the server when Whitefire was streaming and he was doing some end raiding or end busting or whatever you want to call it and I wanted to go raid his raid without him knowing it so I took the elytra and I was flying around though I wasn't flying I was trying to fly but I couldn't take off and I have no clips for this but basically in a span of an hour I probably died twice from elytra and I also went from this end busting expedition to the skeleton farm. Then White showed up to do some get some XP, where I then left there and I wanted to go AFK at the creeper farm. And then a creeper blew up the portal. So it wasn't the nicest. Hello? wasn't the nicest experience one second let's just do this and all of that pain made me think that i never want to fly again i do think we'll attempt it at some point but for now i have retired my elytra because i've been through so much pain and I can actually try and show you why I'm retiring my elytra. Uh, I just need to get some rockets. Why did I put it in my offhand? Let's grab some rockets. And I can actually show you why I'm retiring my elytra. Some rockets. Let's try and fly. 
and we'll use this tree over here. Let's jump on top of this tree to make it easier. And this is probably the moment where I'm actually going to take off. That happens every time I start flying and then I crash. Is it me? I don't know. Let's try this again. Nothing. Obviously, I'll take off now, but seriously, is it, does it only happen when other people join the server? Because I have the same ping. I don't know. I will have to brainstorm with the dudes. Maybe I just don't know how to fly. Maybe that's the thing. I don't know. So this building behind me has become the most important building on this server for me because my luck this season has not been the best. I've tried to enchant many tools, many armors, and things don't work out. I get the worst combinations and I spend hours at the skeleton farm, which is not the best to get XP. But anyway, no luck, no good armors. But with 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 Jay's little bookshop, I don't know what he's calling it yet. This is changing everything because he has efficiency books and he has unbreaking books and he has some fishing books, okay? He has some crossbow books, but the most important thing is he has mending books. And it's not too expensive, which means I'm gonna spend time to fully enchant everything that I do need. But that'll have to happen between episodes, because right now, it's time for us to travel to that island I showed you at the start. Because we need to talk about some things. Though, before we travel to the island, let's go right over here. If you can remember from a couple of episodes ago, we finished the community farm project by building this little dock extending to the side here. But in that episode, something crashed. Seems like... A spaceship and it looks like aliens or something are studying us and they were taking back information to wherever they came from and that's how it looks there's information on all of us and um this is very interesting now for any of this to make a bit more sense let's travel over the ocean on that side to that island where we started this episode on so i can explain to you what all of this means. So there, off in the distance, you can see the custom island I built starting to come in view. And what it means is, and what I want to do, is I want to build my base in this area. Now, there are some islands on that side, and the creeper farm is just out of render distance right over there, which things make sense now, right? Can I get out of the boat? So this island, which I custom built, has an entrance here. This is supposed to be a big door. And what will be underneath this, there's nothing now, but what will be underneath this is a very, very big alien base. A secret alien base. And that's all I have to say about that, because that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, feel free to give it a like. And if you're new here, you're welcome to subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.